Change is hard. Ask anyone who has tried to quit smoking or lose weight. Change is at the heart of switching to electronic health records. It means using new technology and doing things differently. When you work in health IT, you are going to be faced with resistance. Here are some ways to help those you work with accept the changes that will be needed. To introduce the idea of change to a group of people who, who have change coming their way, um, I think one of the biggest things you can do is be clear in your communication. There's no such thing in this industry as over communicating to people. So being able to communicate clearly what the goals are, what the expectations are, what the timeline is, I think is key. So when they go into a you know, new organization, a practice, whatever it may be, it is all about the fact that you're about to hit a group of people with change. And depending again on what you understand about the organization, you have to understand how much change that is. And so try to understand sort of where they may be in terms of being able to assimilate that change. And again, to make sure you understand the process of change. Everybody goes through change, um, so everyone's going to do it, so you have to just be prepared for there's no such thing as people not reacting to it and you want to help them and the only way to do that is to really get a sense for you know understanding them so you can get a sense of how are they going to react is it going to be a negative change is it going to be a positive change how many other changes are going on at the same time so you can really help them figure out how they're going to manage it and help them understand that it's normal for them to be angry to be in denial but they have to move well, I mean, change management is obviously the, probably the most difficult part of these projects. And uh, a lot of people that we're dealing with have been practicing uh, in their role for 20 plus years. And they're used to doing it the way they're used to doing it. And so whether you're changing to another electronic system or changing the paper forms they're doing, it's, it's change and that's it's a lot of, it's, it's really uncomfortable. And, and I think that's why it's important to engage them early on and, and make it a collaborative you know, discussion. Okay. Some things are going to have to change. There's some things we're going to be able to do the same. Uh, there's some things we're going to have to change. And there's some things we're going to be streamlining. Our workflow sessions involve sometimes real patients, maybe the last patient of the day who is agreeable to allowing the physician, the nurse, to sit down at the computer, see what the workflow from the time the patient checks in, getting them in the system, taking their vital signs, submitting them electronically, bringing them back to the room, uh, opening up the electronic chart in the computer for the doctor to see, and seeing really how we would do a note, how we would do an order, how we would send their medications to the pharmacy. Uh, and that, it, to, to physicians and providers that have not ever worked in a system, they just don't know how that looks. They don't know what they don't know. They've been used to pulling out a prescription pad, handwriting prescriptions, handwriting orders. They're, they're put in by someone else. And so th those workflow sessions are uh, extremely helpful. The patient communication part of this has been extremely important. First of all, when you're implementing, they need to understand what you're doing. Most of my patients have been very positive and very excited about having all their information in one place with the chance ultimately to be able to communicate electronically from home and remotely that we could check their labs, could check their imaging studies from anywhere. So there's no doubt except for the delays that the patients sometimes experience during go live and implementation that the majority of patients, even older patients, who are much more internet savvy than we might think, really like the idea that they could ultimately look at their labs online, communicate with the doctor's office through more of an email or patient portal than having to wait on hold for the phone. And so I think across the board patients are excited. While implementing an EHR system, I think there are many lessons to learn. The first one is I think you should enlist the help of an expert, a health information expert who can uh, guide you through the process of selecting the correct vendor. Then I think you have to uh, have the appropriate expectations of what the system will do for your practice. It is not magically going to transform your practice into the most efficient one uh, ever. Uh, it's not going to change the personality of your practice. And then finally, I think you have to commit to the EHR system. Implementing electronic health records will require many changes. While some people embrace change, for many people, it is frightening. To manage change successfully, it is important to engage the EHR users right from the beginning. 
try to get everyone on board, including the top leadership, who will set the tone for the organization and the system users, who can sabotage your efforts if you don't engage them. Understanding individual needs and viewpoints is important. Learners will need support. Working through the new processes with others can be very helpful. It is important to manage expectations as well. If getting a new system set up will take time, let the users know. If the system can do some things well, but other things not as well, tell your users so they know what to expect. All of these recommendations require you to keep your users in the loop. So the final and overriding recommendation for successful change management is to communicate clearly and often.